Okay, so this is part four of my compar comparison, or worst of the uh, new and best of the old. Um, in this part, I'm going to cover the oldest Cartoon Network show and the newest Cartoon Network show, one of the newest, um, and possibly even the best and the worst Cartoon Network shows. So um, if you can't guess which one I'm talking about, the best and the oldest Cartoon Network show would have to be Dexter's Laboratory. Okay, yeah, I know I'm not Eastern European. But anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty much got everything. You know, it's the slapstick comedy and the inventions. and It was just a great show, and um, it's timeless. Cartoon Network has stopped showing it altogether, in the U.S. at least. Um, the only place where you can see Dexter on Cartoon Network is in the one-hour cartoon cartoon show. You have about a 10% chance of seeing it there, um, which is on one hour every day, or I believe twice every day, one at like 3 a.m., and then the other at, I believe, 3 p.m., or something, but pretty much you can barely see it, so it's pretty much altogether disappeared from Cartoon Network. Now, um, let's check out one of the newest, and in my opinion, the worst show on Cartoon Network, Chopsaki Chooks. Yeah. See, even its name sounds like retarded. Its name sounds like it should be some sort of like Chinese food restaurant or something it just it, it, it's horrible I mean first of all going off of animation oh my god they look so hideous in the CGI it looks completely ridiculous if you're gonna go CGI it may as well make them look realistic and what up with the giant whatever dome head I mean come on this looks like some sort of bad attempt at a bobobo for non-anime <clears throat> only in CGI, and it's not funny. It, it's like, I mean, it looks completely random. I've never seen it, but I've seen commercials, <clears throat> and I've read about it, and oh my god, does this bite. The plots are so retarded. They live in a mall or something, and they're infiltrating for a Dr. Wasabi. What the heck? It's not even funny random. It's just random random. So, let's see. They've decided to take this... Dexter's Lab, and replace it with this, Chopsaki Chooks. Hmm. Is that the best decision you could have made, Cartoon Network? Or could you have just taken out every time slot that Chop Chopsaki Chooks has taken up and put Dexter's back in its place? Think of how many more viewers you'd get, Cartoon Network. Just think. Well, Cartoon Network's not listening to me. And he won't listen, or it won't listen to anyone. Well, not anyone logical, at least. So let's compare. Robots. Chickens. Genius. An insane megalomaniac trying to take over the world or a mall. A stupid sister. An afro. Good jokes. Bad jokes. Hanna-Barbera, some crappy new company, fluent animation, horrible CGI, and by the way, I don't have a thing against CGI, it's just this type of CGI is horrible. So, um, yeah, let's see, villains, oh, well, one of them's an insane genius that mirrors Dexter in pretty much every way, one of them is an insane piece of wasabi or something. It's a big green blob. Yeah, great character design on that one. Well, let's move on to another awesome show that has suffered the same fate as Dexter's. Johnny Bravo. Such a great show. Simplistic plot. A muscle-bound idiot that can't get a girl. You know, like the average person. Well, anyway, it was funny and, um, you know, one of the earliest shows and... You know, it's not on anymore, minus the cartoon cartoon thing. And it's sad. Oh, also, um, if you get Boomerang, you'll probably get Johnny Bravo and Dexter's. It makes me kind of mad, because I can't get Boomerang in my area, thanks to 
whoever decided that New Jersey wasn't good enough to, for Johnny Bravo and Dexter's. But enough about that. Anyway, this was a great show with great characters and um, really interesting plot ideas. It's not like many other cartoons of its time. And it is ga a <laughs> gamed. Aimed a little bit at the um, slightly older audience. Not necessarily like... I mean, it, it can be... Uh, it's it's all ages then. Now let's see. Um, let, let, let me just see another one of the newer shows that I don't like from Cartoon Network. Ah, Transformers the Animated Series. Yeah. Now, it's not that I don't like Transformers. And I, this this may be good. I don't know. But my problem is, why bring back Transformers? I mean, there are tons of shows that deserve it a lot more. What about, like, Johnny Bravo here? And poor Dexter and a few other shows? I mean, you know, wouldn't it be better to resurrect one of them? I know, I know it'd be harder, and it's not the same because, you know, the the crew for whoever might be willing to go and work for um, Transformers, but whoever worked on Johnny Bravo may not want to go back to that. But, I mean, can't they at least bring some of their shows back instead of trying to litter it with all these pointless new shows? I mean, I don't mean to offend you if Transformers is bad. I like Transformers, personally. My problem is, why remake it again? I, and, and what up with their mouths? I mean, why do they move? Aren't they robots? How do robots' mouths move? And how do robots have lips? I mean, it looks like they have lips. They, they have, like, little, those colored-in blue smudges above their lips that make them look like they have lips. It's just weird. So, um, again, I'm not really dissing to Transformers too much. I'm just thinking it's not really right for this time and for Cartoon Network. So, um, yeah. Join me in, um, part five where I'm gonna compare some of the, um, some of the, some of the, some of the ads. Right, some of the advertisements that they're doing. You know the bumpers that Cartoon Network used to use? And still uses some of them. I'll, uh, that should be a fun one because I'm really mad about that issue. I haven't been too, uh, mad at these. I'm kind of building up my anger. And, you know, slowly. And I'll, like, be really mad by, like, the seventh installment or something. So, um, anyway, if you have an idea for a topic that I should compare the old to the new and, um, be really mad and hate at the new, uh, drop me a line at my, on my channel or, uh, right down there. You know, like, move your eyes two inches below and you'll see, oh, look, a comments box. You know, it'd be nice if people would actually use that. But enough about my ranting about YouTube. Um, join me in part, uh... Five or six, I'm losing count. Um, so check out episode uh, five. Yeah, five. Um, when it comes out. Uh, so um, yeah, watch it.